What's going on you guys? It's your boy Joe Blow Gaming. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. In today's video guys, I'm going to be teaching you guys on how to actually run two servers. So we're going to go ahead and create a vanilla server and I'm going to be teaching you guys on how to make the modded server. I have made a bunch of videos about this before, but I had the question where somebody asked me, can I have, two, can I run two servers at once? So not at once, but can I run two servers? Can I have a vanilla server and a forge server? So I'm going to go ahead and teach you guys on how to create two servers. So then if you ever want to play modded, you can. And if you ever want to play vanilla with your friends, you can. So let's hop into the video, guys. All right, guys. So we're going to need to download a few things. Don't worry. It's completely free. No viruses. Nothing like that. Okay, guys. So we're going to need to download two things. This is going to be for Minecraft 4 with 17.1. Okay. The first thing we have to do is create two Minecraft servers. Okay. We need to create two folders. So I have a Minecraft vanilla server folder right here. And I have my modded server right here. Okay. So the first thing we're going to need to do is go in the first link in the description. You're going to scroll down and then you're going to have to download this Java 16. All right, guys, you have to download it for Minecraft versions upwards to 1.7, downwards to 1.7, like 1.16, 0.5, 0 0.4, whatever you need Java 8. OK, but upwards to that to 1.17, you do need to install Java. OK, 16. So if you have a Windows, just click on this and install it. If you have a Mac, click on this and install it. OK. The second thing is go and link in the description. You need to download the Minecraft underscore server 1.17.1 from the Minecraft.net. So click on this. All right, guys, it'll download and then we'll come back to this page in just a second. The next thing is we need to download Forge. All right, guys. And once you actually uh, this is for the 1.17 version. Once you're on this website, you're going to click on this installer. And then what's going to happen is once you would installed it, what I recommend you guys do is then open up your Forge drag it to your desktop first obviously and then open it up and then what you're going to do is you're going to install it to your client okay because if you want to play mods on a modded server you do need to have it installed to your client if your friends want to join your modded server make sure that they have the same mods installed and they have this the uh, job the forge installed as well okay to their client so now that we've installed forge to our client once you've installed it, you're going to have to open up Minecraft, click play. And then it, what's going to happen is it's going to create a mods folder in your Minecraft client, which we'll check in just a second. OK, now, really quickly, I'm going to show you guys how to get 1.17 mods. So go in this link in the description. It's the Curse Forge under game version. You're going to click on it. And you're going to click 1.17.1 and then it's going to load you all the 1.17.1 mods available. OK, for this example, I downloaded just not enough items just for this example. The last thing we have to do is come back to the Minecraft.net highlight this right here and copy it okay so first things first what we're gonna do uh really quickly i won't be port forwarding in this video i have two videos made on that go check them out okay i'll leave them in the link in the description and port forwarding that's how your friends are going to be able to join your server but you do need to send them your your ip through what's my ip on google and you need to port forward your ipv4 address in your default gateway okay so what i would recommend you do is go check out those videos if you want your friends to join First things first, and we're, is we're actually going to go ahead and create ourselves a Minecraft vanilla server, okay? First things first. So again, you made your two folders. What we're going to do is we're actually going to copy this file right here. This is our Minecraft 1.17.1 server, okay? I went ahead and dragged it to the desktop. Now I'm going to copy this. I'm going to open up the vanilla server, and I'm going to paste it into here, okay? So now we have ourselves our vanilla server installed, and this is for 1.17.1 that we downloaded right here, okay? Next thing what we have to do is right click, go to new text document, and then we're going to open up this text document and we're going to click control V. OK, oh, you're going to highlight this like we did earlier, copy it, and then you're going to control V it into here. Now, what we need to do is set this to two gigabytes. So get rid of the two, 1024 and put 2048. OK, for two gigabytes. Now, I do have an eight gigabyte computer. So if you do have an eight gigabyte, don't set too much. OK, don't put like five to six gigabytes because then it might not work. The server, it, you might dedicate too much RAM and your computer will be able to handle it. OK, so if you have an eight gigabytes, I would recommend max four gigabytes, which is half of your computer max. OK, so now we have two gigabytes installed, which is perfect for just giving you guys an example. Now, what we're going to do is also type pause under here. So if we do have any issues to arise, it would pause the command console right away and then we could read it instead of it shutting right away. So the last thing we need to do is we're making this to be able to run this file right here. And our file is not called Minecraft underscore server. It's just server dot jar. So we need to get rid of the Minecraft underscore and the 1.17.1. 
and then all we have is server dot jar and that's exactly what we need because we need to run this dot jar file right here server okay if this was named minecraft for example you can name this to whatever you want i name it to server for simplicity but if you would like to change it to minecraft server server 2.0 whatever you want as long as it says the same thing here okay and make sure that you do keep this dot jar you always need to have this dot jar here the last thing we're going to do is file save as and then we're going to name this to run dot bat and then we're going to go to all files save okay so now we can get rid of the text document and now we're going to run the server now it's going to ask you to uh fail to load ula that's fine click any button you're going to open up this ula file and you're going to get rid of this false right here and you're going to put true file save run the server again and now as you can see it's going to go ahead and create a bunch of files it's going to go ahead and create the server as you guys can see right here okay we're just going to go ahead and let this load up so the server stopped we have all of our files right here and our server vanilla is done so we can go ahead and type stop okay now our vanilla server is all done and we're all good to go let's close this out all right so now we've created our minecraft vanilla server now what we need to do is create the actual forge server so remember when we copied and pasted this server file into our vanilla well now what we're going to do is grab this server file and drag it into our minecraft modded server okay now what we're gonna have to do is remember how i told you guys to install forge on your client okay if you've installed it what we're gonna do is we're gonna head over to the client and install our mod or just not enough items okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna come down to our search bar here and we're gonna type in run and then we're gonna type in percent app data percent a p p d a t a and that's percent app data percent click ok go to your dot minecraft right there and then you should see this mods folder okay and that's what happens when you install the forge to your minecraft client and you run that client so once you've installed it to your client you should have opened up minecraft click play and make sure it was selected on the minecraft 1.17 forge and then once that's done you could have closed out your minecraft and then now you should have this mods folder right here okay so what we're going to do is we're going to open up this mods folder and as you can see i already have this mod installed into here so what i would recommend you do if you don't is to copy this because you will need to install this into the server as well so copy it and then paste it into here okay don't drag and drop it because we will need this for the server so copy it and paste it into your client and now you have your mod installed for your minecraft so now we need so now we drag the server into here okay so what we need to do is do the same thing as we did for the vi vanilla is right click new text document open it control or copy this again and boom okay so now we copied that again and we're going to do the exact same thing we just did so 2048 for two gigabytes 2048 okay and now we're gonna get rid of this minecraft underscore again we're gonna get rid of the 1.17 because our file is just server.jar and then under we're gonna type in pause not in caps there we go and then go to file save as all files run dot bat okay there we go so we need to run that bat we clicked all files save boom now we have a new run command now that we have our new run command we can get rid of the text document and let's go ahead and run the server really quickly so again we're going to run it and it's going to go ahead and create some more files and then we need to click stop and we're going to have to accept the ula so open the ula up and then we're going to change this to true file save and then rerun the server all right so now our server is done we went ahead and stopped it and as you guys can see uh we have all these files created so now what we have to do is actually the last step is open up our forge installer here and we're going to click on install server and we've already installed our client and we've already installed the just not enough items mod into our client already so now we need to do it for the server okay so we're going to click on these three little dots right here because this is wrong okay this is not where we want the files to be generated so click on these three little dots find your minecraft modded server mine's on my desktop so I'm just going to go here. I'm going to click on it and then click open. Okay. And then you're going to click. Okay. And what's going to happen. It's going to go install forge to your actual Minecraft server. All right, guys. All right. So now the forge is done. And what we have to do now is basically we are all done. So you don't see a forge because in Minecraft 1.17, it's different. Once you've actually installed forge to the server, 
all you have to do is run it that's it you don't have to come back here edit this and before in 1.16.5 there would be a forge server that would be created you would have to rename it to server and then run that server but now you don't have to once it's done all you have to do is click run okay so now what we're gonna do is we're we're gonna double click on run because we need to create the mods folders so as you can see it's already set um gvm argument you can see that it's already launching up forge okay um which is really really cool it's launching up forge and as you can see we created the mods folder here all right guys and then what we're gonna have to do after this is done launching you will also get another uh, command panel that will come up in just a few seconds you will see what i mean if this if when it like this okay when this comes up this is fine okay this is what's running the forge all right so don't close this keep both of these up you're gonna have to use once you run the server these are both gonna open and that's fine that's what you want all right guys so make sure that these both stay open so as you can see it's preparing the spawn 94 percent done it's actually almost done once this is done like that we're gonna go ahead and type stop and you can type them in either one okay you can type it in this one or that one so now we create our mods folder we're gonna open it up and then we're going to drag our mod in there, okay? So we installed this mod to our actual Minecraft client, okay? So when I go to my mods in my client, you can see that I have it installed in my client as well as in the server, okay? So whenever your friends want to play a Minecraft modded server, they need to have the exact same mod in their client, okay? If they don't, the, the mod will not work. So they need to make sure to download this GEI, the same thing as you are, right? And that's pretty much it, guys. So now we have both servers created. And you might be asking yourself, well, how do I run them? Okay, well, obviously, you just double click on the run. So let's say your friends want to play Minecraft Vanilla. Well, all you would do is open up your Minecraft Vanilla server and then run that server, okay? And then if they want to play the modded one, you open this one up and then you run this server, okay? And that's all you have to do. So... I'm going to go ahead and hop into the game just to show you guys that this does work. I'm going to go ahead and run the modded server first. And then we're going to go ahead and show you with the vanilla server first, okay? And once you're joining your, your Minecraft modded server, always remember that you 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 launch your client with Forge 1.17.1. If you don't launch it with Forge, your client to play Minecraft, it will not work, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and see you guys in the game. All right, guys. So we are now in multiplayer. We're going to go ahead and add the server. Of course, you guys know if you watch my videos, if you want to join locally, you're just going to type in zero. And there you go. There's the now. Don't, remember, this is the modded Minecraft server. So as you can see, it does work. Let's go ahead and join it. All right. So we are now in the game. If we go ahead and open up, as you guys can see, the mod is installed. So we are in the server. Everything is working perfectly fine. We have ju just not enough items. And there you go. So that's how your friends would join. We're going to go ahead and launch up the vanilla server now. And we'll see if that works now to be able to launch the vanilla server you got to remember that now we have to close this server out and now we're gonna have to launch the new server so let's go here we're gonna stop the modded server here we're gonna stop it so we can go ahead and run the vanilla so we just went ahead and launched the modded server so now if your friends want to play minecraft vanilla you have to close this server out like we just did open this minecraft vanilla server and then double click the run and there you go your server will launch up and now your friends will be able to play vanilla with you as well all right so we're now on the minecraft vanilla server or minecraft vanilla client let's go ahead and add the server for vanilla and let's join it all right so as you guys can see we are now in the server if we go ahead and click e you can see that there is not an just not enough items and that it's a completely vanilla server and that's how you go ahead and run two servers the reason why i made the video is because i know uh, i had a question uh, somebody asked me how do can I have two servers at once? You know, like what if I want to create a modded and a vanilla server? Well, you can do that, and that's why I wanted to make this video for anybody else that had questions about that. So, if you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure to give it a like. It really does help me a lot, and I really do appreciate it, guys. And I hope you guys have an amazing day. Thank you guys so much for the help. You guys are amazing. Adios.